We're doing some puzzles. Hmm. Um, so looking at checks and captures usually helps. Queen check here does not a lot. It's the only check I have. Maybe I could swing my bishop over here. And then if the pawn moves forward, I take the rook. If it doesn't move forward, I'm actually not threatening mate one because it's guarded by the queen. So I'm just trying to talk it out. Hmm. Bishop here. So if I so if I play bishop here, she can't just recapture because my queen's here. This is guarded. This is guarded. This is guarded. This is guarded. Guarded. I guess the queen could play there, but that wouldn't really do anything. All right, so this is a candidate move. Bishop d4. trying to see if there's anything better that doesn't I'm not convinced that that's the answer well looking again if she doesn't capture it's mate in one so yeah that was it I only get three points because I took a million years I, I am more focused on uh, the accuracy okay so this check, king goes here. Then I could play bishop b4. And then the king, is he fucked? OK, she could. She could throw the queen in the way. That doesn't do anything. And this doesn't do anything. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, God. I almost just hung my queen. All right. So it's not checkmate. But I want a rook and a bishop for a rook. So it's like winning a bishop. Um, check. Probably not. I could take. Is there something better than just taking the bishop? All right, so there is something better than just taking the bishop. Oh, we gotta think. Bishop here. Then queen recaptures, that's no good. Don't see this one. Hmm. And even moving this bishop undefends this pawn. We could attack the queen, but that doesn't look like it does anything. I mean, let's just say knight here, 
and the queen can go anywhere. Yeah, so usually when it's open-ended like that, I really don't see this one better than just takes bishop. What else can I attack the queen with? I don't know, let's see. So it's a knight move. Let's just see what happens. Wow, that was really it? Because the king is boxed in, and she has to um, throw the queen to save him. Wow. I, I have to look more at uh, what both sides are threatening. Okay. So I'm white. If I queen, you could hit me with the rook, and then I could take, and then the pawn will be here. Is there really any way to stop king and rook versus two pawns? But he's going to be on the third rank, so that's scary. I could play rook here and pin this pawn to the king, but then the king could just move forward. And this pawn is still protected by this pawn, and if... Queening seems to, it's not queening. Do I just straighten up, threaten the rook? Yes. Okay. Then I make a queen. Yeah, I'd be able to stop that. Okay. <clears throat> So he has a fork right now that's reinforced by the bishop. If I take the knight, I have two ways to take the knight. I still lose, but if I take the knight, this way that I'm attacking the queen. And then he has to move the queen and then I take the pawn. All right, I think I see this one right away. This is just a fork. but it wants me to do something else. I mean, what do you want from my life? If I move my rook here, This pawn is only protected by the bishop, which I could follow up with a pawn move. I just don't know what order would be better, pawn first or rook first. If I do rook first, what can he do? He could play knight here, and then I just take it. 
pawn. You can play knight here and protect it, so that's no good. And if I check... Doesn't seem like a very useful check, honestly. Maybe I move my king up. <laughs> None of these are that convincing. Oh, this is the move. The bishop had nowhere to go. This is guarded by the pawn. This is guarded by the rook. This is guarded by the pawn. Okay. Rook here. Can't go here. Can't go here. Can't go there. So if I play rook here, he has to block with the bishop. And I take. Do I take? this or do I take this? If I take this, I take both. Do I want both? Take with check. This is guarded. Checkmate. Almost, uh, almost fucked that one up. Okay. Check. He has these two squares. No, he doesn't. He has this square because of the bishop. Check. Checkmate. It's not checkmate. Uh, this is checkmate. Under attack by the Quinn. This is attacked, and now it's not. Um... This pawn's pinned to the king. This knight's attacking my bishop. Not very nice. I mean, this is protected. This one's not jumping out at me. This piece is unprotected, but I don't see a way to exploit that right now. I have one check, but it's guarded three times. All three of these. Okay. Knight here threatens this pawn. This square is guarded. No. It's always at these lower rated dum dum puzzles that I'm doing, it's usually something way more winning. This is more like a, yeah, you're, it's an improvement, but it's not like game deciding.
try to... Mm, I can't even attack here because... Bishop. Check. <laughs> um, Alright, how about a hint? Attack the queen. Where does the queen go? Not... Anywhere. See, it's it was something way more deciding. I've been noticing a couple of these queen trap puzzles. I have to I have to look more at that. Okay. Um, so I have three on here. Takes, takes. This is a pain in the ass to calculate. But it might just be taking along the C-file. So, I'm going to try to do this without arrows. Because to improve my visualization. I might even... I'm sort of tempted to lead with bishop takes. Let's see what happens. If I take with the bishop, I'm going to try to not do it with the mouse either. If I take with the bishop, he can take my rook on the 7th rank with his rook on the 8th rank. And then my queen is attacked by a rook. So even if I recapture the rook, he can recapture my queen with his queen. And I am down a piece. Uh, I'm down an exchange. But if I instead lead with capturing his rook with my rook on the seventh, and he recaptures with his rook on the on a eight, yeah, I think that's it. Yep. Yep. Okay. Two points. <laughs> this rating is terrible. All right. So I got this rook that isn't doing anything. I could swing him over to double on the D file. And then I would be threatening check. And he could, she could only Well, that's not that good because then I'm trading both my rooks. I'll take the other one with the king. Two rooks for a queen. Not Game deciding. Here's an interesting idea. Rook takes bishop. Uh, well, he could recapture with the pawn or the queen. I'm thinking if he recaptured with the queen, I could put my... I think I still like that. Yeah. Very nice. Black to move. I have a uh, fork here. Easy. Excuse me.
Okay. So I check on h6, it recaptures with the knight, but it opens this line to my queen. Check, takes. That's no good. This pawn is guarding. I have a knight capture. It's my pawn. What is he threatening? Queen down, that looks scary. Not really, because the knight's not in a good spot. Bam. One point. <laughs> okay. My knight is attacked. Terrifying. Um, if I play my rook to the B file, and he takes, and I take, I'm attacking this. He has to go here. Doesn't do that much. I could play this. Take. It's not that good. Take of the queen. And then, no. If I attack with the rook. This looks more forcing is swinging this over here and that's not it what about the other idea also not it okay what if i attack the rook i guess let me trade rooks <coughs> and then the knight is trapped wonderful Okay. Capture the knight, lose the brook. And I got nothing else. Ah. All right, so this is scary because they're already doubled. And then, at the very least, they'd be winning my knight just with a check on f1. So that leads me to believe I have to solve this with a checkmate, like a forced mate. Okay. Rook here. All right. No, it's terrible. Uh, okay. It's a def... If I play queen here, he just takes it. And then I lose my knight. If I play rook here. He could either go here. Or here. Okay. And then he has to capture with the rook. No, that's not it. I 
time to write down. This one I want to analyze. I'm not convinced. I mean, I know the computer is right every single time, but I'm not convinced. I just want to see why. So that, I understand. That, I understand. This, I don't buy. Oh. Ready? Because... It's just, he can't mate me. Really? So I'm, I'm plus 20. King captures F2. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So it's not that dangerous. And if he takes the knight... Like I said he was going to, I take the queen, and he's fucked. And I've made, made an eight, though. Like this. Like this. Is that not it? Queen, h6. Yeah, that's not even mate immediately. I could just do that. Simplify. That's not forced mate. Okay, but this is... Totally winning. I have a queen versus a rook, and what to. Yeah, so I'm up a pawn and a queen for a rook. Alright, I'm convinced. What else we got? This is being attacked. Check. Check's not that good. You can't really follow him to these. If he moved here, then I could fork. And if I checked, I had to take, oh, this is even better, see, uh, I get the other one, smart, this one's scary. Okay. There is one correct square for my queen and 63 incorrect <laughs> squares for my queen. Well. Uh, so if I check here, I can capture this with check. Check here, I could check here. Could even fucking check over here. Oh my god, look at this. That's funny. I was like sarcastically naming this check, but it was actually the correct one. It just looked odd because it was so far away. Okay. takes, if e1 takes e8, then he just captures with the other rook. And then I could double attack with my queen. <laughs> yeah, 
let's see. This is a double attack. This is a double attack. And then she guards the more valuable piece, and I take the one that's not guarded. <sighs> I think this is a nice spot to stop. I got back I got back to thirteen fifty. This is where I was before I started doing puzzles earlier, and then I dropped like a hundred points. And now I gain them all back. Fucking lit. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for something sometime.